Kia ora everybody. Hey, um, this is just the add-on onto our, um, you know, how to select a good harakiki bush for, uh, you know, different types of weaving. And I'm going to go through a couple of them that you may or may not find interesting. And, um, you know, if you want to establish your own pa harakiki, that might be a good idea. But also, if you go around the countryside, you might be able to identify them. So, here we are with Abaho. Now, Abaho is a lovely, lovely stiff variety. Now, remember my earlier video where I said anything that is really stiff has a lot of mukha in it. Well, this one does, but it doesn't mean you can extract it that easily. So, again, it comes down to exceptions to the rule and testing it. But what I really love about Abaho, there's one there, is have a look at the top of their leaves. Hang on, you can see it. See it? They got a little, a little hook at the top. They're absolutely lovely. I love this plant. So look at this one here. See that one? Isn't that gorgeous? And this one turns a lovely white, like pure white. Uh, it's a bit, bit short, but it makes an absolute nice kit of a chiral, uh, variety. So there's that. Then if you are happen to be a first-time learner or you're teaching a class maybe with children uh, farariki might be a good option for you it doesn't like boiling but it's a very soft soft plant look at this here and so for putti putti in particular you know as i said for people who maybe have arthritis things like that so this is a good option and they're usually under harvested. So you can go hard on those when you see them in council reserves. Um, always ask permission though for harvesting, as you know. But you know, that would be a good option for that. Then we have um, Tarere and Power and hang on, what's the other one? Um, oh, I'm not actually sure, but those two are definitely siblings. So they're genetically the same. Uh, the problem is they flower each and every year, so they tend to kind of overexert themselves. But as you can see in the in the older leaves, they turn lovely yellow. So if you wanted this one in combination, perhaps with one of the varieties that turn white, like that other hoe earlier, um, that would be a good option that saves you dying. If you do not want to dye artificially your harakiki, this is a good option. Then we have Raumua. Raumua is usually a favorite for some people. That's why they get um, harvested way more than other plants. But this one is one of those that does turn white when boiled and dried. So if you want to have a, like a, a combination, that might be a good option for you. Atarau. Atarau is the one that I showed you before, the one that um, turned well in the young stage slightly purple not every single leaf but some of them and this one um, as you can see is very long and has a decent hookka content so this one would be a good one for pikau for example or fariki because it might be more durable 